It, uh, we're actually going to be going on, and it's going to be Panda Bear Me for Integrity. I'm sorry. I'm I'm Euro Trash for Integrity Gaming yep. versus Atomic. Yep. I'm Euro Trash. That, yeah. that is the, the <laughs> individual's name. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about him so you uh, so you can know who to hate for that name. Uh, so I'm Euro Trash is apparently a strong Terran player. He joined Integrity at the beginning of its foundation. He can be a somewhat trolly player, if you couldn't tell. Uh, <laughs> but he's a very reliable player. And he finds particular enjoyment in beating Protoss opponents. Man, there's just nothing to like about this guy, is there? Uh, his goal for next season is to break into Grandmasters as he's currently having two accounts that are in the top eight of Masters. And his opponent today is going to be Atomic from Miraculous Gaming. Ato Atomic is a Grandmaster Terran player. He's an up-and-coming player for uh, Miraculous Gaming, and he's a particularly strong player in Terran versus Terran, which he will be able to showcase today. And now I feel like we need to give Grubby a moment to respond. <laughs> <laughs> Rebuttal. <laughs> Where, where's this guy from? I'm Eurotrash. I, I do not know. I don't have that information, unfortunately. Let's see. Probably Florida. Chat, do you know, uh, <laughs> do you know where he's from? We'll get an answer in two minutes. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah, you can't really, can't really inquire with chat when you're on a two-minute delay. Unfortunately, can you? you can't also really be uh, sensitive when engaging in an online environment with <laughs> players. Don't worry, I'm I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, need, don't need a minute to compose yourself or anything. Actually, now that you mention it, oh, no. the, comment the commentary <laughs> is going to be incredibly one-sided on this one. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but as go, we, go, go, uh, Atomic! But, but as we jump into the game in the bottom of the map, on neither side, wearing the color red and representing Terran, it is going to be Integrity Gaming's I'm Euro Trash. <laughs> I didn't want you to introduce that one, man. I didn't, want, I didn't <laughs> want you to have to do that. I'm sorry. All right, here in the top right position as the orange player for Team Miraculous Gaming, who is currently leading with a 2-0 score, it's Atomic. So, I mean... Drop the bomb on I'm Euro Trash. <laughs> you were talking about uh, Mariga around a few minutes ago, um, and, you know, in PvE... TV matchups in TVT. I mean, there's a lot. I feel like Terrans have been a lot more mobile lately than they have been in the past with the drops and the widow mines and the reapers. Uh, how does that play into it in your mind? Mm. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of gas first openings in uh, Terran versus Terran from the games I was watching, and on an aggressive map like this, I wouldn't be surprised to see it. I'm your trash agrees with me, but Atomic is going to go for a barracks for now. Yeah, so so where does be... that go? Is he going to follow it up? Oh, okay, so we've got the Reaper against the Gas first. How do you think this will play out? I mean, on this map, it kind of uh, has been one of the least super aggressive early maps we've seen, I think. And I'm not sure if Nick will agree with me or not, but just because there is the unknown of could be in one spot or the other. But one of the more interesting things we've seen from Terran, I can't remember, I think it was one of the early weeks of the league so far, is that... Uh, one time a Terran set up a three racks proxy in the dead center of the map. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's pretty interesting. And I think he Did actually won too, yeah. <laughs> so and As you can see, the SCV that went through the middle did not check the Zonaga tower. Yeah, uh, always checking that tower is a good idea because you can see what angle SCV is coming from and oh, I'm Eurotrash making terrible decisions is going to be going for the left. And will he be juked out seeing this SCV yeah. coming out? Is he just doing a late scout or is he already scouted there? Mind games. Yeah, that, that, that's always a good question. I have been wrong in the past. Like, oh, this time, worker? Okay, he's, he's in the top left and you're four gating and there's no one there. Well, it's certainly no secret now as both players know where the opponent is not. So uh, by a process of elimination, they know where each other is. <laughs> and <laughs> we're going to have a... How, how does that work? <laughs> The process of eliminate. Oh, right. He has to be in the other location. Absolutely. Right? Well, it doesn't have to be. I mean, we've seen a lot of the Terran. There is no gold base in this map, so I, th I can assume that you wouldn't think your opponent would lift off and go to yet another blue base somewhere else. But, but it's possible, it's right? It's possible. And Just but it's, because it hasn't been done. It's most likely that they will be in the location they have not scouted. SCV going to go uh, to have a nap in the corner here as he can't get in the supply depot wall. Yeah. And he will get taken down by the nice status step micro there from Atomic. 
Now, let's look at the economy. What does gas first cost you? We're taking a look at I'm your trash. He is one, let's see, one SC, he's 90% of an SCV behind. <laughs> Um, which, you know, it's nothing to sneeze at, but it's not all too bad. And with market the... fluctuations, that could go either way. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But it looks like we're going to see a, uh, a Banshee here out of I'm Euro Trash, as that's pretty much the only option once he switches that Starport to the Tech Lab. And that Starport is a lot faster. That's the reward that he got for this. So I'll, I'll, take, uh, I'll take half a Banshee quicker over uh, one SCV. Yeah. I think uh, you will be able to earn that back. Oh, Raven coming out from Atomic, so no Banshee for him. So this is actually going to be pretty ideal, <laughs> given that yeah. there's a Cloak coming down and a Banshee. So I'm your trash is going to get two Banshees out, move in with Cloak, and find a Raven, and then say, well, shucks. Yeah, but it, it doesn't mean that it's the end of it, but consider, let's, say you, let's say if you knew that your starport was half a starport slower, you would want to take a Raven. You don't want to both make two Banshees with yours being half a cycle slower. So considering he did not go for gas first, it's wise for him to have uh, chosen to go for the Raven. But with some good stutter step, the Banshee could still take out a lot of Marines. Will we see a PDD or more likely an auto turret? And where is it going to get thrown up? How many SCVs will I'm your trash be able to kill? Because his expansion's slower. He had fewer SCVs to begin with. There's a Viking coming out. He's got to do damage, or he will fall behind in a longer game. That cloak is just about to finish up as he's moving in. That Raven is out, so oh, he's... Why is the Raven there? Why would he put the Raven there, right? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the Banshee must come up the ramp, so, I mean, you have to have it at the front of your base. Mm. Yeah, but it, it can joke. fly. <laughs> 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 I know, and when I realized I missed my cue, I did the serious Har -har. Har -har. So the tank is <laughs> going to come out and go in the position of the of the Raven to guard the actual ramp here. As he, it looks like I'm Euro Trash. Is I, I, I feel bad every time I say that now, man. Uh, but yeah, shall uh, we call him like I E T? We'll just no, call him Trash. <laughs> trash is. <laughs> I'm Euro or Euro. No. That's okay. Let's let's give him the name he wants. If the universe has accepted it, we can accept it. Yes, very open-minded we are. <laughs> I was so open-minded that I thought there might be a world where my banshees have to come up. Around. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see I I can see you on my left right now. I can see the wheels turning. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> Hopefully he knows that was a joke. But anyways, back back to the game. There are uh, there are Vikings coming out here for Atomic, so he's going to be well prepared for the, those banshees, and maybe they can be used a little bit later for a little bit of harassment. But Atomic kind of just sort of playing by the books here, just setting up his defenses and just kind of turtling in like a good Terran would and a Raven here now out of I'm Euro Trash as well so both fairly covered against the uh, mine silliness that can happen sorry I guess I shouldn't be uh, I shouldn't be uh, expressing my feelings towards Terran right now <laughs> well, I, I don't think there'll be too many Widow Mines it looks like a straight marine tank compositions and for this kind of composition there are two kinds of ways to win the battle either having much more than the opponent like marines more tanks more marines and sometimes banshees taking out the opponent's tanks but sometimes it's a vision battle and in that regard atomic is very well set up he's got more vikings four against two right now and that means that anytime the scans run out for the both players he will have the vision uh, advantage he will be able to put his tanks in position and get the shots off on the opponent and to boot he's got one more tank than the opponent so he's got the let's say technical advantage who's got the numbers he also has the numbers so atomic can be aggressive right now <laughs> and how is he going to use that is he going to attack and take a third behind it wow this is a big split on these tanks that one tank is just kind of sitting out there a little bit vulnerable, but he did see I'm he did see Atomic moving across the map, so now he's setting up and quite honestly these uh, these Ravens I think we're gonna see some pretty clutch point defense drones here. Uh, we've seen that in a couple matchups so it pretty much nullifies these Ravens from actually doing anything. Yeah, and uh, looks like they oh, sorry, both Viking. should be doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm very surprised. Atomic is a little bit messy with his economy. He's over focusing on this combat right now and he is not taking his gases at his natural. He keeps rallying SCVs to the natural, which is already way oversaturated. 
and he didn't take the gases. He also has 1,500 minerals nearly, and didn't start extra command centers. So he's focusing on this battle. It may be the way to go for him, but he's not providing a plan B. Eurotrash needs to hold. He's spending his money better, and he might be capable to do a counter swing if he can clean this up. But yeah. the question is, can he? Eurotrash is going to have to get uh, a little bit of a setup going here as he just kind of had those tanks sitting there for a while. It's a good thing Atomic didn't move in because he wasn't really ready, but now Atomic just kind of setting up the, the blockade outside of his base here um, and just keeping on rallying across the map. The army supply is fairly even right now. It's exactly 52 for each player in count 48 to 50 in favor of Atomic, but it looks like uh, I'm Eurotrash is going to send a comfortable enough to send a loaded medevac out across the east side of the map towards Atomic's base. It's a good choice. Uh, he knows. It's like he understands what his opponent is doing. He sees this setup here. Uh, they're scanning each other. It, there's still two medivacs here. You see that? Atomic is scanning it. He sees two medivacs. I don't think he realizes that maybe there is a third and it's moving across because he doesn't have that many himself. So this marine drop is blindsiding him here. But, oh, there was a siege tank there set up already. Yeah, that was a really hidden tank, as I didn't even see it hiding behind the command center <laughs> yeah. there. But uh, that turret almost took out the medevac as well. So actually, he ended up defending that quite well. Oh, he lost the medevac to uh, to the marines there. So, I mean, let's talk about momentum a little bit. I mean, you were talking about it last match a little bit and dragging out that game a little bit in giving Miraculous Gaming a, a more momentum shift here. I mean, how do you feel that's playing out? I feel like both players still have... Um, you know, plenty of chances to impress in this game. This game hasn't been played yet. How their mentality is, it's difficult to say uh, since this is an online match, but both seem to be playing it out comfortably. I'm um, Eurotrash is doing what Ooh. he thinks is best to get back into this. Goes with three medevacs now. Now the situation is different though. If Atomic scans this, I feel like he can stim and run in. But as I say that, he doesn't have Stim or Combat Shield finish, so... <laughs> Every time uh, he goes yeah. in for one of these pushes, though, it's Resin Upgrade's finishing. Last time it was plus one, this time it's Combat Shield that is finishing up. Now it is done. Um, and he's going to be unloading into a pile right in range of that oh. Siege tank. Oh my god. He knew where that tank was. Uh, he should have positioned a little bit better. Maybe drop right on top of it. And he's losing a medevac to a turret. But still, he does have Stim Pack ready. He has Combat Shield ready, so these Marines are pretty good and he's forcing a large portion of Atomic's army to come back here. But I feel like he didn't do enough damage. There was more potential there for him. He did kill uh, 16 SCVs, so that's nothing to shake a stick at, per se. But he equalized it, and yeah. as soon as Atomic realizes that he has 29 SCVs at his natural, and he spreads them out, he will be out mining I Am Your Trash by a lot. Well, and now Atomic also has a sensor tower set up in his base, so he's not going to be hit by any of this silliness again, as he's going to see yeah. it coming from a long ways away, unless uh, I'm Euro Trash ends up going from the left side. But there is a Marine just kind of patrolling himself around here on the left as well, watching for any outgoing medevacs. Uh, as you said, yeah. setting up his third base, muling the absolute crap out of it. Yes, yes, I believe that's the scientific term for it. <laughs> as, uh, well, they're both finishing up. Oh, you know what? Atomic lost the tech lab that was making combat shield, and he never started it again. Oh no. Small little thing here, which may make a difference in the future. And there's an armory finishing for I am Eurotrash. Is there an armory for Hunter Atomic? Seeker missile going down on a tank at the front. I'm Eurotrash losing it, and there is, oh no. One hit point left on this tank as it just wow. pulls back just in time. SCVs, get on it quickly, repair. Get on it. So Atomic has the momentum, he's got the better army, he's got the better economy, but I'm your trash, he's got his armory finished already. If he starts his upgrades, he may be able to get some late game investment going here, which may help, but you know, it's very unlikely for him to be able to leak out a win in this game, but that's the advantage he try, has to try and make work for him. I he comes out here, unseeds, tanks, SCVs, a little bit clumped, he may be able to clean up, but he's gonna lose prohibitively much, maybe? Uh, well, he actually didn't lose much at all. One SCV, I think, was lost in that entire engagement. Wow. Because yeah, uh, right. he did lose. He had two lost, two killed by Atomic already, and now we're up to three. So, yeah, that <laughs> worked out pretty darn well. So that was well done. Uh, he does have, uh, Atomic does have the tower held at the center of the map, so he's going to see a lone widow mine walking through the middle while he's moving out on the left side towards this third base. I mean, he, I think he knows this base is here, and he has to, to deal with it. He doesn't actually see it, so... 
Now he has. <laughs> the Widowmine killed the two Marines. But the funny thing is, it gives no vision. It's just there to make sure no one has vision. Yeah. Uh, but now he's... Oh my gosh, he's going for a giant doom trap. He's loading up everything into the medevacs. No. He's going to be in the range Don't of Don't do it! Don't do it! There's Vikings! Uh. There's Sensor Towers! This is terrible! <laughs> <laughs> Only losing one medevac. That wasn't as terrible as it could have been. But, I mean, Ooh. right now, at this point... The I mean TVT is so uh, so sensitive almost as much as PVP in losing one medevac of units could really push a swing but the army supply is uh, quite a bit in favor of atomic actually now yeah he's also double eBay upgrading so he's gonna catch up in that fashion he's moving out now still no combat shield mind oh, you oh, but mine there we go mine combat mine 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 oh. Uh, didn't actually <laughs> kill anything uh, between the combat shields and the upgrades was able to sort of sack that hit but looks like Atomic is going to be stimming up on this force here. There are four tanks in the back doing quite a bit of damage to those marines but as they split out it is evened out and he's going to just run right on through this it looks like. Good position for I'm your trash. The tanks weren't in position for Atomic to get full hits off but it was a numbers game at this point. Atomic has the numbers, he's moving in Eurotrash may not be able to split this atom here, as uh, he just doesn't have the numbers. GG. GG. So, I mean, last season we saw uh, quite a number of TVTs that... Uh, honestly, okay, preface that. Going before last season, TVT was my least favorite matchup ever. I hated it. It was so boring. <laughs> but then... <laughs> SE2 CTL Season 1 happened into the same live final show we had last year, and we had uh, a TBT with, uh, was it T Gravity's Semper versus Root Masa, and oh my god, it changed my perspective on TBT, and ever ever since then, that was almost like a shifting point in the TBT, where it became a lot more interesting, a lot more, uh, I don't want to say a little bit less turtly, but a little bit more action, and made it more interesting, and that was certainly one of those games. Mm. Yeah, definitely very... Uh, action packed throughout it lots of fun things happening lots of drops attempted and a lot of them shut down i really uh appreciated grubby's reaction to those <laughs> vikings taking out some of those medevacs that was that was entertaining for sure but great game overall absolutely um i think that we are going to take a quick break now though um before we get into that next game